Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out who's missing you right now and why. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. And I'm a little bit slow because it's 4 a.m. in the morning when I do my reading in the um, afternoon. This is when I'm more energetic <laughs> but let's get already started okay air signs spirits and angels please show me for air signs gemini libra and aquarius who is missing air signs right now and why Four Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person may have dropped the ball at one point in time. I feel like with the Eight of Swords, definitely an indication of this person feeling stuck, thinking a lot about you. They're missing being home with you or doing things at home together, whether it's cooking, decorating, uh, or just spending time watching Netflix or whatever activities that you guys do at home together, okay? Feels like most likely this is someone you were living with in the same house, okay? For once, if it's not that, for once can indicate maybe both of you were in a relationship at one point, but the temperance here is in reverse, so there could be some disharmony between the two of you right now. Um, something is not balanced. Some hostility that could have gone on between the two of you. Um, again, this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So the Ace of Cups here is in love first. So either this may be an indication of um, someone, either you or this person, may have rejected this offer of love or a new beginning that kind of didn't take off, right? Mm, I know we've got the King of Pentacles in love first, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Nine of Cups in love first. This person is not happy at all. They feel incomplete because maybe both of you are not, not on good terms. Both of you are not on good terms. Also, the reason why they could be missing you is because you used to give them a lot of love, right? You used to invest in them used to share something with them but you no longer do so hmm. so this person yeah again we've got the ten of pentacles here some of you either again you 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 were married or still are married to this person or staying staying in the same house together or doing things together at home but i feel like right now even if both of you staying together the temperance and robbers can indicate there's some disharmony. Maybe you stop talking to them, you stop giving to them, you stop caring for them. And seven of swords here is in love first, and we've got the emperor here in love first. This person could also be an Aries. Maybe this is somebody you have caught them being either very selfish or deceitful, sneaky. It could be that, it could be any of these things. But it feels like at one point in time, this person was selfish. Like whatever actions they took, whatever they did was out of selfishness. So with the Eight of Swords here, they could be reflecting, thinking a lot about their past behavior, past actions. The Emperor in reverse, maybe they could have taken it for granted, right? abusing their power over you, over this connection. So you may have also seen this person's true colors. But this person is thinking about the future with the Ten of Pentacles here. They also miss, they also miss spending time with you and, your fr and friends and family. Like, 
or dogs, pets, if both of you have pets together, it feels like this is someone you live together, okay? Let's see more. Sorry, I'm super slow. 4 a.m. <laughs> well, now it's like 4.15. Um, we've got the Eight of Swords again, and we've got the Five of Swords in reverse, and Three of Cups. Yeah, this person is missing spending good times with you or with you and the family or with friends with friends um drinking with you or partying with you or socializing with you can be any of these things but just being with you right rejoicing celebrating but now the ace of cups here is in reverse all these cups are in reverse so there's no happiness right now it feels Again, disharmony, some hostility, some dishonesty as well. Five of Swords in reverse, this person is thinking about wanting to uh, make peace with you. End the conflict between the two of you. And four pentacles here is in reverse, and we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse and the world. The Queen of Wands in reverse and the King, so this is a, supposed to be a true match. I feel like air signs, you're not paying attention to them. Some of you with the world here also can indicate maybe you're traveling or that maybe you have closed out the chapter with them. And for some of you, if you started seeing someone else with the Three of Cups, you're all just spending time with your friends, celebrating, having a lot of fun. They can't get over how happy you are, how you're doing your thing. Some of you could have yeah, gotten into a new relationship. They feel hopeless right now with the star in my verse that if things could recover between the two of you here, if both of you will be on the same page again, if both of you will reconcile or heal things, restore harmony, they're very doubtful. So, but they do miss uh, it, some of you traveling together with the world here, traveling speaking with each other spending time with each other celebrating again rejoicing like happy moments like they keep thinking about that right when there weren't any conflicts because the five of swords here is in my first and we got the temperance in my first i feel like maybe you've given up on this person four pentacles in my verse or that they may have dropped the ball at one point because of past behavior or dishonesty or taking you taking you for granted, taking advantage of you in some way, shape or form, okay? And just for a small portion of you air signs, maybe this person did put you in a third party situation with the three of cups. Maybe there could be another person in the picture with the um, Queen of Wands here in my first. This is just for some of you involved in a third party situation with this person in the past. You should know this, who this person is. And we've got the Ten of Swords here. This is someone looks like you're not with right now or that they may have betrayed you. Yeah, there are a few cards that indicate betrayals. This person will be a fire sign again, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This person was... I feel like either inconsistent, unreliable, or that they may have been a player, they may have lied, they may have cheated on you, or just being dishonest with you, or, you know, the Knight of Wands in reverse can indicate somebody just inconsistent or in and out of your life, or your connection with this person could have been very tumultuous, and the judgment here is in reverse, so... This is somebody I feel that you may not want to reconcile so for some of you. Maybe the way they've hurt you, Ten of Swords, you know, maybe it was really, really painful. And the star here, Emma, first, for some of you, you're still going through healing and recovery because of this person. Um, whether you're still in a relationship or not, whether if you're married now with somebody else or not, I feel like... Um, you still find it really hard to heal from this person, okay? Maybe this person is also going through healing and recovery and still hasn't gotten over you yet. And this person is stuck constantly thinking about what had happened between the two of you. The good times and also the bad times. Maybe bad judgment call that they may have made here in the past. 
either lying to you or putting you in a third party situation, being inconsistent, not being there with you, for you. And with the King of Wands here, it feels like they keep an eye on you. They're still passionate about you. They could be hoping for reconciliation, but they don't think you're going to be open for it. They, they're not sure. Like It's like a hopeless energy with a star here in love first. All right, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sorry for the slow reading. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, I will leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. And these readings are still new. They're still relevant, okay? Um, and also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Take care, Earth Science. Bye.